Can you beat snipper clips without snipping each other? Well, first, let's address the elephant in the room. Noah Green did a great video on this challenge back in August of 2017, but since then, new gameplay techniques have been discovered and a whole slew of DLC stages have been thrown into the mix. So today, let's see if we can build on top of this run and find some new answers. Of course, the rules are pretty simple. At no point during a puzzle are we ever allowed to take any off the top of the other player, but that's about it. Everything else goes, and that's our cue to not play with scissors in this no-cut challenge. Hey there folks, I'm Skip the Tutorial, and here we get to the bottom of gaming's weirdest challenges. And hey, if this is your first time here, then slice that subscribe for weekly deep dives into your biggest questions. Now, this might seem obvious, but any bit of familiarity that we had with the game prior is just about worthless. This time is a whole different beast to deal with. First up is how we choose to control the thing. And while multiplayer co-op would have been the premium option, I didn't have anyone on hand to help. So we're stuck to single player for this run, which does mean that we'll lose the case for simultaneous play. And instead, it'll just be banking on some quick switches and plenty of luck. But regardless of how we decide to play, this challenge can still make the simplest of puzzles into clear frustrations. For example, take a look at Balloon Burster, one of the first few levels with a clear-cut success plan. Just fashion a point into one of your pals and then take down the objective. But when we have no chance to fix our shape, we need to depend on the unreliable. Which means focusing on manipulating physics until finally the balloon pops on a whim. Taking other points like drift and momentum into the equation, and this stage can give us way more than we bargained for. But unfortunately for us, that's not the only level that's tougher this time. So here are the 11 puzzles that are cut above the rest. Ranked from difficult to disaster. Number 11, water weight. When all we have is a bunch of smooth edges, picking up isn't exactly an easy task. Add on the varying factors with one large and two small ones, and this stage ramps up fast. To get past all this, we need to stand steady on patience and just hope the walls work out. Especially when ruining an optimal setup might as well mean a restart, because laying all that out again is just not worth the time investment. But even with the proper leverage, I still sat there like an idiot for far too long, trying to execute the plan. If you ask me, the biggest issue here has to be lifting the heavy projectile up and over. Past that, it's just momentum to score the small ball and then clear the split. And since we aren't able to trim away the extra pounds, we just need to stand back and hope for the best. There's not much else we can do. Number 10, Princess Power Up 2. This one really drives home the pain of just being nearly there. Compared to all of the other make a cut style stages, I think this one truly highlights their issue in the run, which is hands down vertical positioning. Now, looking for the proper height with two people in and of itself is a strain on the relationship. So with one player, it seems near impossible. And since we've got that limitation, the strategy here really comes down to just trying and jumping for these. But as the results will tell you, it's not a perfect plan. And frankly, I still found that the second setup would cause some strife, with the momentum of her cart basically requiring a straight shot. In short, none of this is gonna feel smooth, but we can scrape our way past, and thank goodness that's all we need. Number nine, Capsule Crew. This level packs the trouble of water weight's positioning, but with way less room for error. To match the ship, we need to line everything up perfectly to stand a chance. And none of that's helped by the fact that we need to reverse stack in a pyramid to get through. For my research, the best strategy comes down to chucking the frog over and scooting the penguin to the left, which should allow us a stack to better deal with them. Following that, we can close up shop with the mouse and call it there, but that doesn't make it any easier to work out. Number 8, Mothership Mission. To round off the circle struggle, this one adds in the biggest pain point, a lose condition, or rather, no free space to even drop the things. This time, the queen demands perfection. You see, since the balls drop overhead, they'll keep the momentum when smacking our smooth shapes. That means we have to book it to stand any form of chance here, but don't even consider letting any of them drop for a second, otherwise the whole crew gets sent back, even the ones that are safe in their cubbies. For that reason, the right side plays out way worse, since now we're required to sort through the aliens before taking action. And believe me, when it's your fifth time successfully dunking the green and pink in, and then some stray collision resets the whole thing, it's gonna wear thin fast. Number 7, Mockingbirds. Admittedly, this one gets extremely tough because of single player. 
since we'll need to switch like crazy just to make it through. And that still only gets us small rotations at a time if we're gonna make it work. Otherwise, the egg cracks and we're sent right back to the beginning. And that'll lead to plenty of problems, just trying to thread this thing through any nook and cranny that we can find. Factor in the amount of times we need to work this thing through tight corners and sharp spots, and the task here can get borderline ridiculous. Number 6. The Drawing Board For this one, our range of ideas is incredibly limited. Since we can't adjust our shapes, there's no way to get fancy with our creations. Partner that with the same issues we had positioning on Princess Power Up, and the real trouble sets in. I tried multiple different strategies to get past this one, even going so far as to attempt hooking under the map to knock the mallet over. But still, the best technique in my book has to be crafting some tiny projectiles and launching them free. Just make sure they don't catch on the ledge, or it's back to the drawing board. Number 5. Twist and Spout Patience here is incredibly important. Figuring out the screw for this one is not the tough part, but the execution makes this whole theory fall to hell. It's commonplace here that we'll get just frustratingly close and then lose it all at the last second because the single player switch off isn't always the most reliable or maybe the twist will just slip on its own and it's time for another take. Little nudges are all that we have to make this work, but it's gonna take a lot out of us. Number four, paintbrush pass off. This is another one of those hope and pray style stages, except that the seesaw physics are just a pain to work around. We'll need to position the brush just right to fill in the lines, but skewing it too much to any which way means it's right out of the map. As far as which target was hardest for me, no question. It's the top left for sure. Since the brush falls vertically, we need to take a chance right as it touches down to slide it over. And when we're playing two people at once, that's a tough enough challenge to take. It requires more wang jingling than I'd like to admit. Number three, Mega Mockingbirds. Now, the last bird theme stage was difficult, but this one? Pure nightmare fuel. This time through, we need to transfer each egg over to different sides. And yeah, taking turns is nice, and practically a requirement for some, but the other factors at play here come in full force, with momentum as the real sticking issue. To brace through, we just need to spam rotation until the momentum finally kicks it over the gap. And nowhere is that more apparent than the last segment. Here, we leave it all up to chance, and then just have to act fast when we have the dream of launching it over. And when it gets there, one last thing, do not let it break on the final pass through, or it's gonna be a sad time. Number two, sprue for two. This stage is like a grab bag of all of the bits that we hated from the previous levels. We've got the weights that are circular and heavy, the physics that make sure to bring the pole any which way but forward, and to top it off, there's a big old pit beneath us that's ready to gobble up our chances of winning. To have any chance of making it through, all that we can rely on is moving slow and nudging to keep pace, most of which we'll be doing from the bottom slot, so at least there's some chance to react and save when needed. But the top isn't the easy way out by any means, since we'll need to nail the jumps and pickups to get past. Only positive here is that once it's clear to the last ditch, it's not that hard to align it to the hole. But the journey there is a stressful one. Number 1. Broomstick Brew. Good God. This time we've got three ingredients to worry about, but you might as well cross out these baby things, because the real challenge here lies right up top. Of all the levels in the game, this one part took up nearly a sixth of my time, just trying to get that one ingredient. So what can go wrong? Gosh, where do I start? As you can tell from every other stage, balancing an object on these smooth characters is no easy task. And when it falls, that's right, it's time to try again. At one point, I even thought I was clever just letting it ride on the broom itself. But a lack of seatbelt gives us just the same problem. Not to mention the fact that the control switch gets hit by just about everything. Overall, I'm glad I finally figured out rotation lock in the candy, because otherwise, I'd have gone bald by now pulling out all my hair for this one. So, with all of that done, how's it look for the run? Well, after shooting for an any percent completion and finishing off 44 different levels, the game's locked gates keep us just that bit away from a win. So, it's not possible but I'm still surprised we can beat almost 60% of the game without using the key mechanic. So with that folks, clip this one in the top right to see us take down Undertale without moving, or switch over to the bottom right for another video. If you want to support the channel and get new videos every week, then dice up that subscribe. But until then, take care, and you have a good one, alright?